had some technical difficulties. Keep up with your to-do list. It is officially spring. This week has been so beautiful and I'm so happy about it. It's been about 20 degrees every day and it's about time, honestly. So I'm feeling good. I actually put a sundress on this morning. I emptied out my wardrobe. I have boxes and clothes all over my bed. So I think I officially have to do the wardrobe switch over now. And it just, it feels great. I'm really, really happy about it. This morning I got up and I finished off my nails. I decided to go blue because I thought, you know, it's spring, it's bright, it's fun. I'm all about the extra color at the moment and then when I was cleaning up Liz messaged me and asked if I wanted to go grab coffee down by the water so that's how we spent our morning it was absolutely lovely I am now home dressed and ready for the day and I'm just really really happy about it this is my dress I got this from cotton on when I was back in Australia I am going to get a lot of dresses like this this summer my first one of these I purchased last year it's a white one it's beautiful I got it from Zara and they're just the most comfortable style of dress like a little bit fitted around um, the bust and then super flowy from there on out and it is just so comfortable so i'm gonna be living in these this summer i want to get floral ones i want to get all kinds of them but yeah so so nice to be back in dresses i finally decided on a tumbler from starbucks i have been saving up my points since last summer and i was going to buy something festive at christmas i was considering getting the dark green version of this but i just never did and then i saw this one the other day and it's so pretty and it's it's bright and I'm all about color right now. So I thought it was very fitting and it fades into a matte yellowy orange at the bottom. But I broke my drink bottle the other week. So this is to kind of replace it. And I love it. I just love the color in here. Let's talk about what's been happening, which is a lot. Last Friday, I live streamed here on YouTube and I'm gonna live stream again maybe every Friday, but at least once a week. I had so much fun like talking to you guys. I think I was on for about three hours. The streams are not saved on my channel because I had some technical difficulties and it just, I couldn't save it. I had to delete it. So this next one I do and any future live streams, I will continue to save them. But I love live streaming and just chatting to you guys. It's so much more fun for me because it's like a two-way conversation and I actually get to talk to you and I love that. So definitely gonna be doing more of those. Then I have this massive to-do list. In one of my videos last week, I started writing this big to-do list of things that I wanna organize around my house. And one of them was my office and I did that in my last video and it feels so much better in there. I still have so much more work to do. I still need to sort through the paperwork and fix up a few things, but it feels fresh. It feels, ex it feels nice in there and I've been so much more motivated to work. I know my laptop is out here, but it's because I was doing my nails out here. We'll also have that linked down below. And then today, I just want to keep ticking things off that to-do list. Now that I've taken all of these clothes out of my wardrobe, I probably should organize them. I need to clean a little bit of the kitchen as well because there's some dishes and stuff that need to go into the dishwasher. I actually just really need to look at the to-do list because I've kind of forgotten some of the stuff that's on it. I have been making so much progress. I feel like I'm getting very fresh. Fresh? I feel like I'm getting very fresh in fring, which is what I was trying to say. Fresh in fring. I meant words. Um, fresh in spring. I feel like I'm getting very fresh. Everything's getting organized and neat and I'm very happy about it. So there's that. So we're just going to have a productive day. And then this afternoon, I'm actually going out to an event with my friend. So that's kind of the plan for today. We're just going to get things done and just keep ticking things off this major spring refresh to-do list that I made a couple of weeks ago. I still don't really feel like doing a proper wardrobe switch over today, but I grabbed out three, these three containers because I was looking for a specific top, but then I ended up putting the dress on. I think I might sort through these pieces and then I have to put stuff away. Otherwise then I have no free coat hangers. I don't want to do this today, but I feel like I now need to. I think I'm just going to have to do it. I might make my bed first and then pull this all back out so I have like a clean space to work on. And at least then that way my bed will be made for the day. Thank 
not even close to being done with my wardrobe organization. I literally have a pile of clothes here that need a home. And I switched out a few things, but I just don't really want to do it all today. So I might come back in a couple of days and finish it off. I'm hungry and I am just eating some leftover food from last night. So I ordered in, I got a couple of arancini balls. So I have like a third of one left. And then I also have some chicken and mushroom and kale pasta as well. So I've just heated it up. I'm going to put it on my plate and enjoy my lunch. Yum, looks so good. I just ate my lunch and I spent my entire little lunch break uh, trying to find this dress. I posted a little boomerang of it to my Instagram and I had a lot of people asking where the dress is from. It's from Cotton On, but you know, fast fashion means that uh, it's no longer available and I can't find it. I even tried the US Cotton On to see if it was on there, but unfortunately it's gone. So I don't think you can get it anymore. And then I tried to find some like similar ones and I was having no such luck. So uh, yeah, sorry I won't be able to link this dress for you, but I do believe there are going to be lots of styles like this this summer and I'm just really looking forward to it. I want some really bright floral items. I'm definitely looking forward to that. Anyway, I got to get back to this to-do list. Look at this new setup. I am so in love with it. It's just the best place to work from now. I actually designed a new planner this week. It's more of a tracking planner as opposed to a planning planner and sometimes these types of planners are much better than to-do lists. If you feel like maybe Maybe you're not getting enough done and you're struggling to keep up with your to-do list, uh, then having one of these tracking planner type situations is a really good idea. I started doing these in the middle of the pandemic when, you know, it was the height of the stress and feeling like you're getting nothing done. And I found this sort of method to be quite helpful. And I've been doing a lot more work on my social media lately, but it's not stuff that I've been writing down. And I just wanted to give myself a little space to track things so that at the end of the day, I can actually look at everything that I've achieved and not feel so bad. And it's, it's one of those things that helps you go, everything is fine. I am doing so much and I have nothing to worry about. And this particular sheet that I have here, I printed out specifically for work, but you could do it for like household chores, like this big spring to-do list that I have. I could totally use this as a way to track what I'm doing each day so I can see how much I'm actually achieving. And there was something else that I thought would be really good for it the other day too. Anyway, I'm gonna print out a blank one and show you the full blank thing. Okay, this is the planner here and I've just titled it. What I did this week, it doesn't have to be everything that you've done this week. It could be work, it could be around the house, it could be health or fitness, food tracking, whatever it is that you just wanna keep track of. It's super simple. You can put the date of say like the Monday or the Sunday, whatever day you choose to start your week with. And then I've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then a little notes section if you wanna add anything else in. But I just needed something really simple to just track the things that I'm doing so that I am aware of how much I'm doing and to not beat up on myself for feeling like I haven't done enough. Anyway, it's available on my website now. I'll leave a code down below as well so you can get 20% off and it's on my website that is actually hosted by today's sponsor. So let's jump into that. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an online platform where you can create websites, blogs, and e-commerce stores. And it is the platform that I have used to create my online store, The Inventory, which has planners, both physical and digital. I'll have a link to it in the description. But if you are looking to create a website, a blog, or an e-commerce store like I have, then I would recommend looking at Squarespace as they have a whole range of templates to choose from to get you started. You also have the ability to connect to all of your social media accounts to make cross-promoting across the various platforms really easy. There's also a range of third-party apps that you can connect to for shipping, accounting, inventory tracking, everything to make running your business a whole lot easier. They also have a great range of analytics where you can see where your traffic is coming from and what products are performing the best and that way you can make more informed decisions about the future of your business. So if you are looking to start a website then head to squarespace.com and use my code or click the link in the description to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.
I've just been working away on my computer. This day is getting away from me. I really need to change, get my bag together. And that's where my deodorant went. I lost my deodorant this morning and I must've put it on while I was walking through the living room and I left it in front of the TV. Just found it. Anyway, uh, I need to get ready, change outfits. I just don't feel like wearing a dress out. Uh, it, it does say that it's 23 degrees out there. So it is warm enough too, but I don't know if I'm ready to go outside in a dress yet. I think I'm just gonna put jeans and a, like a cute top on. That was my original plan and grab my bag and head on out and meet Liz and then we're gonna go to this event. Blue jeans and then I just dropped my top. I was thinking of a white top, but I kind of want to wear this floral top. I don't know which one I should pick, the white or the floral. I'll grab the white one out and we can decide. This is the white one. I love it so much. They're both from like Ever New, Forever New. This one I did buy in Australia, so I think it's got the Forever New tag in it. Then I got this one here and it has Ever New, but it's the same company, an Australian company, and I like them. I don't know which one to wear. I'm going to try the floral shirt first. Uh, everything's just a little bit tight. Like I had a really good winter, okay? I ate a lot of really yummy food and I didn't really work out that much, mostly because of COVID and I couldn't. Oh my gosh, even my jeans are too tight right now. Do I like it? I mean, it is really cute. It's very cute, my like white little bag. This could work, this could work. Do I just go with it? Do I need a jacket though? I don't really have a jacket. Do I need a jacket? Do I need a jacket? Do I need a jacket? I know my jeans are not done up properly. I mean, this is really cute, but I think it's far too hot out there for this. Um, I really want to wear this one, but I want something I think with a little more arm coverage, so I might just try the white one. That was my original plan, so I'm just gonna go with it. Okay, I actually, I think I like the white better. I just feel a little more comfortable in it. I really should cut this tag off. Actually, I'm gonna cut the tag off. I'm <laughs> using the viewfinder of my camera to cut the tag off. Okay, there we go. I feel better about this. I just like the sleeves on it. I'm not quite ready to wear thin spaghetti straps just yet. Okay, this is my original plan. I stick with it. Take my white bag and then probably just put my espadrilles on. Simple, comfortable. I wore this exact outfit out to lunch one day when I was in Melbourne, if you remember it from that vlog. But yeah, let's go. I'm gonna change my jewelry real quick too. Sorry, watch, you're not as cute as me wearing, like actually my gold jewelry. I actually think I prefer the other top better, but um, this will do. I cannot be bothered to change right now. So I'm just gonna chuck my shoes on and then head out. I was gonna go with my espadrilles, but I think I might just go with the white sandals. I feel like it'll just tie in better with my bag and my top. Okay, I think this is gonna do. I got the white sandals that are from Ruby Shoes, my Levi jeans, the white top from Avenue, and then just my YSL white, but not white bag. I think this will do. I'm gonna head out. I'm walking down Adelaide Street at the moment and one of the things I realized as soon as I stepped outside is that it is more than warm enough to wear a dress. It's just sometimes if there's like a breeze or something it can be a little bit too cold. It is not. It is so warm and I don't regret my outfit choice but it is really really nice out here today. going to the Nick's like warehouse thing. Um, I ate a bunch of the really sweet little foods. They had like brownies and I don't know, all these dessert foods that I ate a bunch of. Uh, and I did pick up a couple of things. I got a, it's not really a sports bra, it's just like a pullover bra in this nice yellow color that uh, will be great for the gym. And then I also got some of the like period underwear which I've never tried before, so I'm really interested to give this a go next month. But um, yeah, so I just got those two things. I'm going to get changed into comfortable gym clothes again because it's been enough of a day to wear like regular clothes, but it's been, it's been nice. But I, yeah, I'm ready to get out of my clothes. Um, I am going to go over to Liz's house. She just dropped me off and we've ordered a pizza from District Pizza and it'll probably be there in about 45 minutes to an hour. So I'm just gonna get changed, get my laptop. We're gonna have like a work night and eat pizza night and I think it's gonna be great. Okay, so I have got my laptop. Um, what else do I need? As far as I just my laptop, I'm gonna need my headphones. 
That's definitely one thing. I don't know if I'm gonna need any of this stuff. I might take a hair tie with me in case I feel like tying up my hair. Can of Coke so I can have it with my pizza. Liz says she doesn't want one. And where is my drink bottle? I think that is everything and I am good to go. Our pizza has arrived. We've moved to the coffee table. We're gonna eat some pizza and watch some How I Met Your Mother.